This is Night Marcher from 10tontank.blogspot.com. Uh, today we are going to go over some of the aspects and a quick tutorial on how to scan down sites in EVE Online. Um, it is something that commonly comes up uh, as far as the forms for EVE.com and new players wondering how exactly to get into uh, scanning for sites and uh, what that process looks like. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go through some of the ground level basics uh, for some of the new people who might be watching this. And um, yeah, so we'll start off with the ships that you want to look at. And every race, you will see that there is a specific ship. It's uh, starting off as a frigate that will help out with scanning. You'll see that by looking at some of its uh, frigate skill bonuses. In this case, for the MR, it is the Magnet. Uh, it does have 5% bonuses uh, here, as you can see. And you can look them up for all the other races as well. Um, but the Magnet is pretty good ship to start off if you're doing uh, Tier 1 ships at the moment. Uh, I am currently in the Covert Ops um, Tier of this magnet, which is basically this ship here. It is the Anathema. It has um, quite a big boost in uh, skills uh, as far as the Covert Ops skill bonus. So you want to take a look into that. If you can get into that, that will help out with scanning a little bit later. Um, this is dependent on having the Covert Ops skills. So in order to fly these ships you need to have fulfilled these uh, requirements this uh, this list is basically the same for all of the races as well so like I said just kinda focus on getting to frigates for whatever ship you're flying up and um, yeah you should be pretty good uh, another big one is going to be the electronic upgrades to level 5 that would take a little while but no biggie because you'll want that at some point anyway um, as far as fittings go, you will notice that my ship is fit pretty standard. Uh, in my rig slots, I have two small gravity capacitor upgrades. These basically allow you to have a plus 10 per. Um, so that's 20 minus a little uh, stacking bonus that you may get. And I also have a Covert Ops cloaking device. Uh, if you are an Empire, you probably don't have to worry about this. Uh, currently, this is an Empire, so it's kind of redundant to have that there. Uh, but it is very um, very useful if you were flying around low sec or flying around 0, zero where it is much more dangerous. Um, you'll see here is the meat and potatoes of it. I have the expanded probe launcher Tech 1 with sister core scan prober, uh, probes. Sorry about that. Now you can get the regular core scanner probes, but the sisters do give you a bonus as well to uh, your scanning. So uh, the more bonuses you get, the better. Uh, the rest of this is basically a fit that I've used quite frequently in um, zero zero when I was up in um, Tribute and the surrounding area. But uh, this works fine pretty much on the tier one level of it as well. Just kind of take a look at your fittings and see what you can get on there. Um, to start things off, as far as scanning goes, you have to be out in space. And the number one thing you're going to be learning to use is your scanner, which is shortcut uh, default Alt D. So let's open that up. And you'll see the three tabs up at the top, scanner, directional, and moon. You want the system scanner. That's what you'll be playing with mostly. Here on the bottom half of that, you will see your filter screen. Uh, I have set up four different filters. The primary one that you will be using is the anomaly and signatures. Uh, you can leave it as show all. That won't hurt. Uh, we'll use that for uh, the sake of this video. Uh, the first thing we can do is do a simple scan. And after a short countdown, we will see what type of exploration sites are available for this system, which happens to be in the forge. So if any of you, uh, nope, look at that. We didn't bring up anything. No scan signatures detected. But that does not mean that this system is empty. Uh, I have not scanned this yet, so you will see what I see at live. Um, so we'll just go ahead and launch one probe. 
before I get into this, you guys will notice that I am at the sun. Now, there's a reason why I'm at the sun. Uh, it makes scanning, in my opinion, a little bit easier if you are at the center of the solar system when you start off. Now, granted, you don't have to be. This is just where I like to do it uh, while I'm in Empire. So we'll pull up our first probe. We'll hit this button here, which is bringing you to the solar system map is the one you want to be in and you definitely don't want to be in the galaxy one because your probes will not reach that far so as you see as we scroll out you have the rings of the planets and my probe sitting there uh, not doing too much right now as you can see the solar system is much bigger than what my probe is at if your probe is anywhere lower than uh, then 32, you're going to want to right click, go to scan range, and make sure that it's at 32, and voila, you will see a big circle surrounding the solar system. Now, for this, I would go ahead and, since you're able to cover pretty much the whole solar system in one scan, just throw out one scan probe and hit the analyze button here at the top left. It will go through a short countdown of analyzing the system and based on your filters that you have set up it will return the results and just as I thought this system is indeed not empty and we do have a cosmic signature here uh, if you click on it you will notice that there is something that pops up here if I scroll in a little bit you'll notice that little bubble it's a red bubble that's there to tell you that it is somewhere in this area that you have a signal but you have not yet found it. Now if you look at these categories you have your signals ID which is a unique identifier, um, what type of a scan group it's in, uh, you have a further description group and type uh, which we'll get into after and then you have your signal strength and your distance. Um, there we go so we can see that a little better so what I want to do since we have one signature here in the system you could typically work your way down to 16 not to bring your bubble down a little bit and then I'll go ahead and throw out four more probes and there's a reason to the madness Oh, gotta wait reason to the madness on why I throw out five probes in total explain it to you here in a second. Now that we have five probes out in space, what I'm going to do is go ahead and left shift, left click on all of my probes, so I have them all selected at the same time, and I'll make sure that they're all on the same scan range, which they are now, but just to bring this down a little bit more, I'll go to eight, considering I'm kind of in the rough area of it already. And what you'll see here is that all the probes are launched in the same location that's good. Go to the bird's eye view which is just scrolling all the way to the top drag individually each probe out as so and you'll do a overlapping scanning area. What this is called is triangulation. You can, you can achieve triangulation with just three probes hence the meaning of try, but since I want to use five, this is all the better. I have one probe here in the middle and then overlapping probes all around. And you'll, what you'll see is that you basically have this one really dense area right here in the middle that has all of your probes scanning in that area. That will be your optimal scanning um, section. So any of the results that you have, you want them to be in that area. So since I've already reduced our signature range, let's go ahead and analyze again. And after a short second, or eight, <laughs> we will see what the results are updated to now. What you should see is an increase in your signal strength. Uh, it'll usually start off with a very low one point something or five point something and what we're basically trying to do is make this signal strength to a hundred percent so that we can warp to it and see what it is. Now you notice now that it jumped up to 26 percent and that red circle now changed to a yellow um, yellow arrow. If you can kind of see it, it's right there. 
Um, what you're trying to do here is you basically already have pinpointed that there is something here for sure. And if you shift and drag your probes around, this will move them all together. So shift plus left click and drag is your friend. You will move all of your probes at the same time. That way they don't get out of line with each other and you don't get any kind of awkward scanning range. Um, but so to where the center probe is right on the money, as you see there, I'm going to go ahead and drop my scan range down another uh, four. This is an increment usually of four or half. So there we go. And you'll notice there is my optimal area, and I'm barely covering it. So what I want to do is bring these in a little closer. And as I bring them in a little closer, you'll notice that my optimal area actually becomes this right here. It's bigger, which is good for scanning. And we'll do another scan, and you continue to work your way down uh, during that period. So you guys are intelligent enough. I'll go ahead and uh, do this and be right back. Again, Now we have it up to 91% and we should start seeing the group ID and the type IDs, which are unknown because this is a wormhole. If it were anything else, we would get something like gravimetric, LADAR, uh, magnometric, or radar sites. Uh, they are each uh, unique and they have different sites for each group uh, under the type once you get to this spot you would have seen the name of the site that you're doing and you could easily look it up um, but this one is a wormhole so that's that's pretty cool um, we still need to get it to 100 so let's see if we can drop it down just again just a little bit again and knock this out so let's drop it down to one which should be enough bring in our probes a little closer and make sure that we're on the money pretty much right looks looks that and we'll hit this and we will get our result now it seems more difficult at first when you start off with scanning but the more you do this the faster you become in it the more proficient you get and you can pretty much scan down sites or scan down a whole system in relative minutes and know what um, and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you what we just found so since we've got it to 100 I can warp to it by right clicking warping to zero or to a distance I always recommend you go at a distance uh, just because you never know what you're going up to um, cloak up if you have it and let's all right and what you'll see is we have a wormhole here its ID is K162 that is a static empire exiting wormhole if I'm not mistaken so that's gonna lead into one wormhole and then it should have a couple other worm wormholes in there but this is the one that will exit to an empire system um, so that's basically it. You basically rinse and repeat and do that whole process for every um, ID that you come across listing and you should be able to do this within about five minutes. Um, if it takes you more than five minutes um, a site you're, you're doing it wrong. Um, please ask questions. I don't mind trying to explain it again or perhaps make it a little clearer of a video. Um, but yeah, there is your crash course on scanning in EVE.